All right, we're going to do um, a couple of rotations, and um, we're going to keep it simple. Um, if we do a, rotations of 90 degrees or 180 degrees or something that's a multiple of 90, um, they're pretty easy to keep track of. And there's some little, little simple rules here to find the new coordinates of your new points of your rotated shape. And we'll follow those and then um, kind of show how they have to be true, I think. I think this will make sense. So um, we're going to do a positive 90 degree rotation of this triangle. And positive rotations go counterclockwise, so um, they go this way. And negative rotations go clockwise, so they go this way. So we're going to do a positive rotation of 90 degrees. Um, so just to show you what we're going for, uh, I'm going to make a copy of this triangle. And uh, we're rotating around. And it's going to end up looking something like that. Our center of rotation will be um, the origin. So this this uh, vertex of the triangle that's stuck on the origin, it's it, that's it'll still be there. Um, it'll still be right on top of the origin. Um, but the rest of the triangle we're kind of swinging around 90 degrees. Um, so this is a 90 degree angle, 90 degree rotation. Um, forms a right angle here um, from where we started to where we're going. So that's what that's what's happening. That's what we're going for. And um, as you can see, our new point F is going to end up somewhere around there. It's not exactly right because my um, coordinate plane is, I don't know, the distances between the lines are slightly inconsistent. So sorry, it's not lining up exactly as it should. We'll, we'll plot the new points as they should be. Um, this is a rough idea of what we're going for. Our new point F will be down here, and our new point E will be down here. And what we'll see is, um, actually, for example, like for point E, the x coordinate here becomes the y coordinate here. Um, and um, what you'll see that we'll, we'll follow the rules. We'll, we'll find out what the coordinates here are. We'll follow these rules, and then kind of look back at it and hopefully it'll make sense. So um, let's get this out of the way here. Oops. Okay. So point F, let's write down these coordinates. Point F is located at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So negative 6 is the x coordinate. And then 1, 2, 3, 4. 4, positive 4 is the y coordinate. Point E is at negative 6 and it's right on the x-axis so y is 0. So um, here's the general rules of what you do and you can approach this two ways. Just memorize the rules and apply them um, or visualize what you're doing with rotation and kind of derive the rules. So l let's just follow these rules and then look back at it and hopefully the, r the rule will make visual sense. So what this means is, if to do a 90 degree rotation, we take the point and um, our new x coordinate of the point uh, is the opposite of what the original y coordinate was. That's what this AB, negative BA stuff means. Um, so our new x coordinate is the opposite of the original y coordinate. So the original y is 4, so our new x coordinate is going to be negative 4. This is for a 90 degree rotation. Uh, our new y coordinate is going to be what the x coordinate was before. So negative 6. All right. And I personally think it's it's easier just to visualize the kind of rotation you're trying to make. Do a little rough sketch of, of where you're going with the object. Um, and then use logic to determine what the new points will be based on what the old points were. Um, but here's the rules. So. Uh, Okay, so we're doing a 90 degree positive rotation. So our new x coordinate will be the opposite of the y coordinate. We got 0 as the y coordinate, um, the opposite of 0, just 0. 0 is neither positive nor negative, it's just 0. Um, and then um, the new y coordinate will be the old x coordinate, so negative 6. Okay, so let's just plot these points, and then should make sense. So our new f. Um, will be at negative 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, negative 6. 
Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, our new um, e will be at zero, negative six. One, two, three, four, five, six. G will stay where it is. And then the whole idea of rotations um, is that the distance that the points are to the center of rotation will be the same distance they are after the rotation. So um, E is a distance of six units to the center of rotation, and now E is still six units away from the center of rotation. G was zero units away from the center of rotation, and now it's still uh, zero units. So let me just connect our, our vertices here. So um, let's see if I can fill that in. This is it's going to not look entirely great. Okay, there's our new triangle. Um, it should actually be lined up with the uh, axis there. Um, yeah, so that's the basic idea. So um, this point is swinging around there, and this point is swinging around there. So you can see how we flip-flop the um, x and y coordinates. So, so for example, um, f is 1, 2, 3, 4 points away from the x-axis. When it moves, it's one, two, three, four, or one, two, three, four points away from the y-axis. So um, the y-coordinate here, what the vertical coordinate, becomes the horizontal coordinate. So one, two, three, four becomes one, two, three, four. Um, so that's kind of how these rules work. Let's uh, let's pause and do one more rotation. All right, let's do a 180 degree rotation of this triangle. And um, so first, let's kind of figure out where we're going. Um, so each time you sweep through a whole quadrant of the coordinate plane, you're going 90 degrees. So we want to do 180. It's, it's a positive rotation, so we're, doing, uh, we're going counterclockwise. So what's going to happen is um, we're going to swing through there. That's 90 degrees. And then we're going to keep on going and swing through uh, and end up with something like this. So can you guess what the new coordinates will be um, based on the old coordinates? Um, here, our vertical um, uh, coordinate, the y coordinate, is the f is 1, 2, 3, 4 above the x-axis. But here, uh, the, the new point f will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 below the x-axis. So um, what about E? E is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 away from the um, center of rotation. The new E is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 away um, as well, but in the other direction. So what you're really doing is you're just flipping the signs of the coordinates. And that's what our rule states here. For 180 degree rotation, um, A and B, or the X and Y coordinates, will just become negative a, negative b. So whatever a and b are, just flip the signs, make them the opposite. So let's let's follow that rule. Let's write out our new coordinates. Figure out where we're going. Um, so I left the uh, coordinates of these points. So um, the new. Let's do this in green. Um, so we'll flip the sign. So the x coordinate will be not negative six, but positive six. And the new y coordinate will be not positive 4, but negative 4. OK. Our new um, coordinates for the new point E will be the opposite. So we've got positive 6 and um, 0. So the opposite, you can't do the opposite of 0. 0 is neither positive nor negative. It just stays 0. So here's our new points. Let's plot them. So our new point F will be at 6, negative 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4. Uh, our new E will be at 6, 0. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then Y is 0. And G is going to stay where it is because it's right on top of the center of rotation. Let's connect our vertices here. Try to do this one a little bit better than the last one. Um, yeah, there you go. That's not a pretty triangle, but that's that's that is the rotated version of this triangle. So here's the rules for simple rotations. 
um, for 90 degree, 180 degree, and 270 degree. Um, the points you start with and your new coordinates based on the old coordinates. And you can always just visualize it and figure it out logically. Um, so for 180 degree rotation, we knew we were going to go through two of the quadrants. We're going to end up something like this. Um, the f, um, the y coordinate of f we knew was going to be just the opposite of what it is here because it goes four up, but here we knew it was going to go four down. Same distance, but four down. Um, so you can use logic and visualization to figure out these rotations.